I've been dying to do 40 Towers. And if you haven't seen... Oh, yeah, sorry. Fun Friday. Woo! Comedy classics. Yeah, I've been dying to do 40 Towers. Um, <laughs> especially this one. If you guys haven't seen 40 Towers, maybe the Americans haven't. So we wanted to share this with you guys because, oh, this is so funny. English legends. <laughs> oh, legend. Yes. Only ever one series. They quit, <laughs> quit while they were ahead. Connie Booth, they're standing there. And uh, John Cleese, co-writers of... The most incredible series called 40 Towers um, from United Kingdom. <clears throat> long, long, long time ago. Oh, classic. Um, <laughs> loosely around a, a hotel manager yeah. and the staff. But that's very loose. <laughs> if you don't know it, you'll enjoy it. Or maybe you won't. I don't know. I don't know if our friends across the pond will get all of it because it's very British. Mm. Having said that, it's, it's pretty visual comedy and you're pretty yeah. bright. So I'm sure you'll be all right. But anyway, yeah, this is Basil cracks up, and that doesn't mean in laughter. It means he goes nuts. And you'll see why in a minute, because we found the whole clip. Yeah. So this is, and that also, that car. Hold on, I'll tell you no, that no, afterwards. No, 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 yeah, afterwards. I think, um, this yeah. is, uh, thank you, Six Dwarf, for um, posting. And they've got six, no, sorry, 2.31k subbies, so get them up, please. And also 1.6k juicy sales for me and Dad. Yeah, thanks, Six Dwarf. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Um, I can't wait for this. Yeah, so this is legendary, basically, yeah. and, and uh, we, we did a lot of Hardy, and we were in the mood for another comedy classic. Yes. So we thought, oh, 40 Towers, should do Monty Python. You guys are going to love this, yeah. or we will. 40 <laughs> Towers, Basil cracks up, full scene. Uh, forgotten the year, long time ago. Play the tape. Enjoy. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I'll come it on the trolley. Um, well done, well done, everybody. Come on, well, get the trolley ready. Right, right, let's go. Please, six foot plus. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, um, and a very, you know, slender six foot plus. <laughs> I can't remember if that's oh, a Morris brilliant. Oxford, an Austin something, <laughs> or uh, yeah, really old British car. Look at it. I mean, oh. just look at it. That's how we used Basically, to build cars, um, everybody. If anyone doesn't know, yeah, that he's rushing because he's got to get the dinner on the go or something like that, isn't it? But a bit of background: yeah. the guy that he threw the duck at, <laughs> the, the chef. Got absolutely hammered because he felt it, he said he he loved Manuel the yes. Spanish waiter. Yes. And Manuel is obviously didn't wasn't interested. So <laughs> Kurt, the Spanish chef, or Italian, I can't remember. No, it's Kurt, oh. German, I think. But yeah. he got drunk, so he couldn't cook the duck. So yes, Forty's friend Andre got him out of hot water. But as you can see, the first duck got destroyed. So he went and got another one, and now we'll pick it up from there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a 
girl who can't say no. I'm in a terrible fix. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Ducks off. Sorry. That's the end. Yeah. <laughs> what about the duck fault here? Um. Ducks off. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I cut it off. And I cut the end of that. Anyway. Oh, so, brilliant. I originally thought that that scene with the car was in Wembley, because it looked very similar to where I used to work in Wembley Park in uh, in England, obviously. Um, but I now think, because it was filmed in, it wasn't in Torquay at all, it was in Beaconsfield, ah. in Buckinghamshire. And um, it was all filmed there in a hotel. Now, that's been knocked down quite a long time Ooh, ago. Damn. But it was an old hotel, and they filmed in, uh, the, 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 a lot of the outside was in, obviously, it was a studio, but yeah. the outside was always that hotel. Oh, awesome. And it was quite famous. You drive through Beaconsfield, and all of a sudden, there it was on the... And it was there for a long time, and it was, then it was just sort of got in the right state, and they knocked it down. Oh, I see, yeah. But I now think that's one of the roads outside, because that's where it's filmed, so it's logical that they would film that in Beckersfield, because a lot of the roads yeah. around Beckersfield look yeah. like that as well. So it's a, a pretty, uh, very yeah. famous um, English village. Ooh, but yeah, it was meant to be Torquay on the south <coughs> coast, but it never was. It was always filmed in Beckersfield. Ah. At least the outside broadcast part of it was. The inside was obviously a studio. I just love when... Um he hits it with a stick. Yeah. Uh, no, tree. A tree. A twig. A twig. Yeah, a twig. Yeah. But the, the whole I'm idea... Flashing. That whole episode starts with... Um, it's basically <laughs> oh, a gourmet evening. To brilliant. Basil's basically a snob. Yeah. He's an, 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 an idiot. Yeah. But, and very rude. But, I mean, it's all po poking fun at him. If you yeah. notice everything... Because it's really taking the mickey back at him. Yeah. So, anyway. So, um... Basically, it was a gourmet night. Yeah. And uh, the, the this chef who fell in love with... The, the, Manuel yeah. was meant to cook the duck and obviously he got too drunk he couldn't so he went to Andre duh, 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 duh. Yeah. so it was meant to be a posh gourmet evening with this beautiful duck <laughs> yes. and all the sauces 
And as you can see, it ended up as a trifle. <laughs> After all that waiting, all that singing, joke telling. <laughs> so, yeah, so basically it oh, went very, very, very wrong. wrong. And that's why Faulty Towers is so funny. Yes. Because it's so clever, the, the way they make it go wrong, you know, and um, British humour is always disaster, darling. We laugh at anything, you know. It, it, it was brilliant. It always goes wrong, like we go wrong. <laughs> Yeah, it was brilliantly written. Connie Booth and uh, yeah, John Cleese. And there's rumours, although John Cleese is in his 80s now, mm. but there's rumours, maybe he's out of money, I don't know, but there are rumours around that they're going to, him and Connie Booth are going to rewrite. No, they're going to write. Gonna, no, gonna write oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, write more. That'd be awesome. Because I think he's skin. To bring it back. Yeah, no, please That's do. a mistake. Because yeah. I think it was only ever 12 episodes. And that was it. Yeah. Which is like, a bit like Firefly in the US. Just one season. Yeah. Now it's cult status. But there is rumours that they might come back. Firefly or 40 Towers? Firefly. Yes, there is. But I don't know if that's definite. Again, it's been too long. <laughs> Let's hope so, everybody. Yeah. Nathan Fillion still looks all right. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Anyway, it's not about Firefly. It's not about that either. It's about 40 Towers. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out Comedy Classics. We'll do some more if you enjoyed that. Don't yep. forget to read Let's know. More fun happens. Friday. And on Fun Friday, why not have a Comedy Classic? Yes. 40 Towers. Hope you enjoyed that one, everyone. Basil cracks up. Like, <laughs> comment, crashing. and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Take Happy care. Time. Bye. 40 Towers. Woo